And with North Korea's only major ally in talks with the U.S., there's growing speculation that the regime could be planning another provocation. Some say it could come during the summit or a couple, on a couple of days in Pyongyang's calendar this month. But as our Kim Jong-soo reports, when or if a provocation will occur and whether it'll be a missile or nuclear test isn't clear. In its latest analysis on Thursday local time, U.S. website 38 North, which monitors North Korea, noted, quote, unusually high levels of activity at the regime's Pungari nuclear test site, and said this could mean that a sixth nuclear test is, quote, imminent. As evidence, the website released satellite imagery dated April 2nd, showing increased foot and vehicular traffic around the facility. The website, however, cautioned that the pictures do not provide, quote, any definitive evidence for the installation of a nuclear device or the exact timing of such a test. Pungeri has been the site of all five previous nuclear tests in 2006, 2009, 2013, and two last year. 38 North's analysis came a little over a week after South Korea's foreign ministry expressed similar concerns. North Korea is likely to conduct high-intensity strategic provocations, such as a nuclear test or an ICBM launch, around key occasions like the U.S.-China summit. Cho also said the test could take place on other significant dates, including a meeting of the North's rubber stamp legislature on April 12th, or the birthday of the country's late founder Kim Il-sung on April 15th. Others have been more cautious about the likelihood of a nuclear test. It's convenient to think that North Korea's nuclear tests have a political motive, but one must not forget that these tests are primarily conducted to rigorously test its weapons technology. Rather, Kim says North Korea could carry out more ballistic missile tests instead. North Korea has made a significant breakthrough in nuclear technology. Conducting a nuclear test carries a significant risk. If it fails, it can even work to invalidate the results of previous tests. Rather, I think the regime will focus on testing its ability to deliver nuclear warheads by conducting more missile tests. From the Defense Ministry, meanwhile, no analysis has been made public in the first week of April. But it said previously that it's keeping close tabs on any signs of nuclear activity in North Korea. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.